welcome to updating. Yeah. Oh. Who, who's pumped? What's going on in the back over there? How you guys doing? You feeling good? I see a big tabletop of all men back there that probably have not gotten laid this summer. <laughs> No, I love it. I love it. It's been an exciting, exciting summer for us. Um, you know, we've uh, we've been doing shows all over. Um, we we were in uh, in Ohio last week. Uh, we did some shows. Uh, good news about Ohio. Uh, we did have a uh, uh, we did have a f after the show. Uh, came on the show. This person, um, the guy, was super transparent with the crowd. He's like, "Look, I haven't had sex like." in like eight months so like i don't know like what i'm doing wrong and he was like so, and he was super honest he was super authentic and like after the show like a girl literally went up to him like he texted us the next day like oh like this girl f me <laughs> so harrison uh i'm, I'm excited, excited to start this up i'm excited to start it up and shout out to our youtube audience clap it up for them yeah thank you um, from yeah. all over the world india zambia yeah. a lot of people are single and lonely I'm single and lonely, so we love you. Yeah, Thank you, and let's get this shit rolling. Let's get this fucking right. rolling. Give it up for Key. Key, Key, Key. So Keith, um, welcome to Updating. Uh, Appreciate you having me. Thank you. Yeah, we're, we're super excited to have you here tonight. One house rule. Um, we don't do age or profession at the beginning of the show. Um, sometimes we do it at the end. Um, like if someone's a teacher, it's cool to find out at the end. <laughs> you know, it's like, hey, I'm a teacher. <laughs> but uh, have, you, have you ever had sex with a teacher or no? Like, like someone, not when you were, I mean, if you did when you were a student, tell us, but <laughs> also someone after the fact, have you ever, yeah, like, later I mean, in life? I've had, I have. I've learned a lot of things from, from teachers, both in the classroom and in outside of the classroom as well, so. Can I tell you something, Keith? Whoever these teachers were taught you well. Uh, <laughs> no, I like that. I, <laughs> You're too kind. Yeah, uh, so Keith, give your elevator pitch to the crowd. Remember, no age profession. Why should someone want to go on a date with you or, or you know, have sex with you? Uh, let's start with the date. Um, <laughs> it's a good one. Yeah, it's I'm fun. One. You know, I pick the check up always, you know. <laughs> My mother would be very upset at me if I didn't, so I'm always gonna grab the check regardless if the date went good or bad. So, you know, that's my deal. Oh, he does the bare minimum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, who, yeah, I mean. Other than paying the check, what else, uh, yeah. Yeah, man, I mean, I think I'm just super easy to talk to from what I've heard. I'm a good listener. Uh, I love trying new foods, so I'm, I'm always gonna have a, have a great time exploring and trying new foods with people and just- Have you ever had sex with any food involved? Condiment is food, correct? Jelly, yeah. No jelly. I've done. I've done whipped cream, chocolate. No. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah. I've, I mean, we can. We can. Yeah. I'm not gonna. Not gonna reveal too much. But I, I've. I've dabbled. What do you think people would get wrong about you? So obviously they just briefly found out a little about you. But like, what do you think they're getting wrong about you? Like me, people are. You know, they see me. They go like, oh, like this guy probably saves all his money. Um, <laughs> like, like they're not wrong. <laughs> what about you? Um, do you think people get wrong? I probably say people. A lot of people sometimes think I'm shallow. Uh, I think there's a lot of layers to peel back when it comes to me. So, you know, it's it's deeper than the surface looks. What's your biggest thing? What's your deepest layer? <laughs> My deepest layer. Um, yeah. I got a couple. You got to peel them back. You know, it's, it's the border just wait, 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 I just peeled. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Uh, there's more than meets the eye. Let's say that. Let's go with that one. There's more than meets the eye when it comes to me. So. You're talking about your size? Oh, my goodness. This guy, this guy. And, Keith, if you're not shallow, what do you go for? Ooh. You ter in terms of? In yeah. terms of uh, ladies, in terms of dating. Yeah, like for, what? Yeah, I mean, I like yeah, like somebody. Harrison and me go for people that are breathing. So, like, what? <laughs> what? What do you go for? For me, I like just, I like good energy. You know, I like great energy. I like somebody that's super ambitious, like myself. And um, yeah, just a beautiful person, honestly, inside out. If you're on a date with someone mm -hmm. um, and, you know, they're with you, what do they say Keith has that no other guys have? Like, what is that thing? What is that thing? What is that thing? Uh. <laughs> 
Um, good, good, just good talk, man. I, I feel, I feel, I think I feel waiters and make waiters and waitresses feel comfortable. Everybody just wants to talk to me. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm just a likable guy. I, I think like that's it. what they would say. Genuinely, yeah. I like that. That was you know good. I like Keith. That was good. You know. So, what's something you would normally not tell anybody? Like, what's a private detail that you want to share tonight to make this a, a memorable experience for everyone? It's one thing I think people wouldn't know about me. I come off as like a weird, not weird, but like a bigger, whatever the case may be, jock athlete. But I'm into music. Like I love music. Uh, I do That's that. That's really weird. Yeah. I mean, not nah, something weird. All right, something weird. Let's let's dig. Let's dig. I got a layer. I'm gonna peel. A, I'm gonna peel a layer back for you because that wasn't deep enough. Something weird about me. Do you, do you play music? If you listen to like the the Sam Smith or <laughs> Nah, nah, no Sam Smith, no Sam Smith. I bought a guitar during COVID and taught myself a little bit how to play that. That was cool. Have you ever played it naked? I have. Yeah. <laughs> Post interaction, I have done a little song. I heard John Mayer does that, so I was like, fuck it, I'm going to do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. so, Keith, what's a red flag then? What's something, what's something that is negative about you that you don't like, that you want to change? I'll be out kind of dancing, having a good time. I'm very extroverted. I like to have fun with my friends when I'm out. So I think, you know, a lot of girls will see me and automatically think I'm just a... I don't know what the word to use is, but just like a, fuck, a player, a fuck, like a, a fuck boy, like all the time. Man. I'm like, they think I live outside in the streets. I'm outside every night, You're and I'm just like, fucking. it's not that deep. I just want to have fun with my friends, you and, know. That's and, so. And are you? Would you say you can? You do fuck a little, or do I fuck? Yeah. Is that what you say? <laughs> yeah. No. Do you? Do you? Let's cut to the chase. Let's cut to this. This layer three. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I dabble. I have fun. You know. You know. I re I release. You know? <laughs> How are you meeting a lot of these? I'm yeah. old school, brother. Like, I like to kind of shoot the shit in person and feel the vibe about myself. DMs are crazy. And you what's know? your strength in the bedroom? I'm very patient in the bedroom. Genuinely patient. I don't, I'm, I'm really in a rush. I'm, I'm, I'm where my feet are. That's one of my mantras is kind of be, be where your feet are. So I take my time and... And I like to see her have a good time as well. So that's that's one thing that's a strength. We've never heard that before. Wow, that's that good. is. That's not bad. We usually it's giver. Like I'm a giver. Yeah, Keith, you uh, you definitely would know how to make me comp now. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, I, know, wow. I know. What is the number one reason why um, why someone would not fall in love with you? Let's say they went on a couple of dates. They're like, uh, not for me. I'm in a point in life right now where I'm really focused on just kind of like my purpose and working hard. So I want somebody to be able to take me, not take me out of that realm, but make me lock in. You know what I'm saying? I think a lot of the times girls would be like, oh, I'll go on a date and we'll have a good time, whatever the case may be. And I may kind of fall off just a little bit in terms of kind of getting back. I'm not a big texter. I like to call. Just check in. Hey, shoot the shit. Hey, what's going on? He said it there. Wow, I'm not I don't a know what. Like, I mean, I'm not I don't a know texter. what he just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, what you mean? I don't know. You, you, we what just you went like around the circle. Whatever. You, are I'm you a, calling I, before you meet her? Is yeah, that, just okay. to check in and see where she's at for sure. I think I think they like that because I used to the text. They get to hear my voice. It's a little deep, so you know. <laughs> What is one ick? If a girl says this on a date, you're like, I got something for. Don't even. Okay, finish. let's hear it. Her choice of beverage. Like, if it's not like, you know what I'm saying? It could be anything, but the sodas kind of get with me a little bit. It, it gives me the ick. I'm just Soda? Saying, like, a, a, a Diet Coke, like a, a Coke or something like that. There was a time, can I? I was wow. on a date. Wow, Keith, I was going to say, as long as a girl's not drinking another guy's cum, I'm happy. <laughs> no, but listen, let me say one thing, because I'm just like, there was, a, there was one time where I was on a date, and a chick, the, the lady I was with, the young lady, she was choking on something, and I offered her water. She said, I don't drink water. No, no. Get me a Coke. I was like, nah, that's crazy. I mean, that, so you got to drink water. Like, that, wow, that, we, that, oh. that we just the umbrella just like being healthy anyway. Like, you know what I'm saying? She's like, no, I offered her my water. I used cold water. And it, was, it was a club, you know, sparkling water I offered her. And she says, no, get me a Coke. The weight is across the room. She's dying. I'm like, oh, my God. Just drink the water. No, I don't drink water. It's like... I don't do that. That's one ick for me. I'm like, nah, I'm out. And if you're rude to the waiter as well. He's like riding a roller coaster with I've his hands. I've never gotten dizzier in my life, Harrison. All right, guys. Uh, guys, clap it up for Keith. Stand up, Keith. All right. Put your Alrighty. hands together for Gabby. Gabby. Woo. Gabby. Right, Gabby. Gabby. So Gabby has actually, uh, she has been on our show before. Um, and here, he, here's what's interesting. She met a guy on the show 
has gone on a few dates with him, this guy, Chris. Cause it's true, I'm not good at one night stand. But I still need love cause I'm just a man. These nights never seem to go to plan. I don't want to leave, will you hold my hand? Won't you stay with me? Cause Chris is all I need. Gabby, what did you think of that? Cause I'm, I, I'm sweating, uh, my, my balls are definitely sweating. Uh. I mean, the cuckoo, she's feeling alive right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. And they are into each other, but it's not its not confirmed yet. And I don't know, this is a controversial thing in, in dating. I don't know how many dates before something serious, but right before it's serious. Let's see, you know, if someone could change that, Gabby. I mean, not gonna lie. I was burned a little bit bad in my last relationship. Like, he love bombed the shit out of me. So I was like, uh. I'm going to take things a little bit slower this time. So, you know, we're just keeping our options open, seeing what's out there. And, yeah, we'll see what happens. And, and it's been good. Uh, the, the sex has been good with this guy. Uh, yeah, he's got a horse. I mean, I don't even need to say words. Like, If you could pick one specific hesitation with it, what would that, what would that be? We just don't have the same taste in dating like places oh. i don't know he, oh well, you can fix that like i go to chili's and so and like <laughs> no and then a girl's like hey do like i look like a girl who goes to chili's no no most most are not and when and when they're not and they say you're gonna have to spend a thousand dollars i go i will do that to keep you <laughs> um so it could be that's an easy thing to change luckily yeah i mean it, it is easy yeah but i mean he took me to a food court and you know <laughs> That, that's okay. That's, that's a, for a first date? Third. Okay. Do you drink Diet Coke or Coke? Diet only. So do you like Diet Coke? Yeah. And would you course. ever drink it on a date? If it had vodka in it, maybe. <laughs> Describe what the perfect guy would be. Describe what you're looking for. I'm just looking for a guy who has, like, good chats, good banter, like is a little bit nerdy about something. I, I don't mind that. Like, they have to be a little bit passionate. What would turn you on the most tonight with a guy? If we had sex in the bathroom, like, back there, like, the kind of private bathroom. That, I mean, that would turn me on, yeah. Yeah, well, wow. <laughs> yeah, but, like, I mean, in the long run, definitely, like, just, I'm a girl who's very attracted to, like, a personality. What about musically, musically gifted? Or they listen to music? Wait, wait, yeah. sorry, what? How do you like, how do you feel about guys that listen to music? <laughs> like, is that hot? Yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah. And like, buy a guitar and sit with it naked? <laughs> like, is that, would you be turned on if you got home to a guy and he's naked and, there's, and his cock is hanging lower than his guitar? I mean, just me personally, I don't think that would be the thing to get me going, like... What would be the hottest thing you could come home to and be like, oh my God, like other than like someone who's... You cooking dinner. Cooking dinner? Oh my God, yes. Na or you just, uh, yeah, naked, preferably. Okay. But even if I just come home to Uber Eats, like, that's it, I'm sold. I'm very simple. Wow, okay. Yeah, see, I thought, it seems like chilies may work. Uh, uh, I, I, I mean, yeah. As I long mean, as there are fries in the order, like, yes, it'll, it'll work. Clap it up for Gabby. Give it Put up for Gabby. <laughs> and from your previous date, you know, he's more of the artsy type. Do you want a guy who's super muscular? Maybe he dabbled in athletics? Or do you like more of the drama kind of boys out there? I mean, I do love a muscular boy, like someone who either is an athlete or was an athlete or is just like very into working out. Same. Because, mm -hmm. yeah. A Harrison, let's I, bring out. I'm excited for these two to meet, Brandon. I'm let's, excited. Let's make this happen. I'm right. excited here. Who here does not wear protection when they have sex? Good amount. <laughs> Good amount. Of so Ohio, no one uses protection. You guys are cool right there. 
Yeah, you guys are you, you have you guys are having fun. How long you two been friends? Uh, high school. Yeah. High school. I see the bond. I see uh, you, you guys. Uh, no, I do not think you guys look alike. <laughs> Please welcome back to the stage. Give it up for Key. <laughs> Keith, Yo. Gabby, um, we're excited to introduce you to. Um, and Gabby, uh, tell him your favorite drink on a date, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me, Gab. My favorite drink? Um, I guess like a mezcal-based drink, um, something that has passion fruit. I'm a big believer that anything with pineapple and mezcal or pineapple and tequila is just lazy bartending. I'm sorry. Like, the two pair so good together that it's just like, be, be better. Keith, is that okay, that drink? <laughs> Listen, I, I, I heard passion fruit. I like what Drake likes. Drake likes passion fruit, so that's, that's, a, that's a good thing. That's good. That's passion fruit, yeah. Like you said it. what Drake likes? I like it. Is, there, is, it, is that, wait, does Drake like that? Uh, Drake likes passion fruit, so I approve. Uh, uh, Keith, uh, how do you feel about hooking up in a bathroom? Bathroom is a little crazy. It depends on like what we're doing. Though. You know what I'm saying? A little bit kind of crazy, but it's cool. What do you think the hottest place to have sex would be after a date? My house. Probably somewhere like... <laughs> I mean, like, it's not like... I don't got to like get crazy on the, on the A train. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I, I, have, I have an abode. Like, I, I have, you know... I mean, well, so it's, like it you do like the kitchen or can be is the that kitchen, too crazy? It can be like a wipe the, the, the dishes off the, the table and just kind of that type of deal. Or it could be. Yeah. OK. OK. You know, for sure. I'm back on track. Back on track. Get back on road. The foreplay starts from the date when we're leaving and the lead up is, is, is the journey, not the destination. So and what's that's what it's about. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's about. Keith, the what's the up. first move with the foreplay? Oh, just talking, you know, tell her, telling her, telling her. That's the thing. I think people get confused on foreplay. It doesn't always have to be sexual. You know what I mean? He I does really, like I to talk, that. I think. So. No. Well, Keith, when your voice sounds like mine, talking is not foreplay. <laughs> I mean, right now what's going through my head is I want to hear him say, um, princess. I'm not going to lie. Wow. I appreciate you coming to meet me, Princess. I know your time's important, and you know, I'm very glad we got to sit down and, and, and you know, enjoy a good meal together. I appreciate you. Yeah, that's pretty much it. See, I like how we threw the princess in with the appreciate. That was top notch. I can't tell if, uh, are they getting along? I can't even I, tell. I, I, I actually. So Gabby, uh, how do you feel about guys their background, whether they're Jewish or, you know, Indian. Like, what, what kind of guy do you want? Are you Jewish? <laughs> <laughs> he is, I'll tell you something, Gabby. He's actually a rabbi. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yes. <laughs> yeah, like, no, I'm not Jewish. That's, I, no, no. No. I'm a big Christmas guy. I love Christmas. One of my favorite holidays. <laughs> so, how do you, wait, Keith, how do you feel about Hanukkah? You know, I, got, I have Jewish friends. It's their thing. I love it. Yeah, I mean, good for y'all, you know? Keith is a little bit cooler than the people at my temple. Uh, <laughs> um, the ice is really breaking here. Um, so uh, it's, uh, it's a different... It's chemistry in, like, uh, Singapore, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah it's, it's, it's the kind of chemistry they have in, in Staten Island. Um, so the first card for the two of you to talk about, what is one physical feature you're insecure about? Oh, Ooh, that's a good one. Keith, I'm going to let you take this one first. Yeah, okay. I got you. Um, as much as I, you know, take pride in my appearance, one thing I'm definitely a little bit insecure about, I think my ears are pretty big. <laughs> Wait, can I, can I feel them? Wait, can she feel them, Keith? Just keep your... Uh, Wait. What, I don't know what I'm touching. <laughs> Hot, Gabby, higher. Wait, is that, that's your elbow. That's okay. okay. Elbow right Wait, there. can you, like, lead me up to your ear? To like. Ears, I got you. <gasps> Oh they're, my. They're, they're covered up, but dig in there. <laughs> oh, wait. Go ahead, go dig. Yeah. Put your hand in the, in the earlobe, Gabby. I think. I mean, should I do like a little, like. Yeah, do, do it. <laughs> yeah, to your right. 
Oh, whoa, that was my finger. You can, you Wait, can let go it. more, Gabby. Whoa. I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't feel nothing. Wait, he's getting hot. I mean, do you want me to do it again? Is of that course, what you're asking for? Wait, little Keith is coming up to say hi. Uh, little Keith. <laughs> what is the first thing you remember masturbating to? Um... What was it? Was it? Mine was a vagina, and on Google I typed in vagina. <laughs> Mine was Cat House on HBO. Yes. Ah, oh, what a classic. So, <laughs> love cat. I love real sex. All those. Everyone came to my den, and we all watched it. Um, ke- uh, so yeah. What do you guys? What was the first thing? Yeah, I I'm, can take it. Are you you want it? You got some? Are you brain for No, it? no, no. That's all you. I mean, yeah. me personally, I'm all about imagination. So. Okay based off of life, life experiences, so I lost my virginity when I was 16, so that's yeah. when I... <laughs> so after that, you started, yeah, you started, you started... I started getting a little bit dirtier with it. Oh, so you just yeah. skipped the first step, you just went right, right to the end zone. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. And yeah, Keith, what about you? Keith's yeah, so... like, yeah, I fucked at 12. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, like, this is 12. the guy. Wait, start with when you lost your virginity, because I want to know. You are the guy that fucked at, like, 13. When I lost my virginity? Yeah. I was a freshman in high school. How old, How though? Old? Yeah, I was 14. My, my girlfriend at the time was, was 16. She was older. She in prison now? And, no, 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 no. She's not in prison. She's actually a good lady. She's a, she's a good young lady. She got kids now. Shout out to her. But, um... <laughs> Shout out to her kids. Shout out to her kids. <laughs> I was 14 at the time, and my mom, she used to go to work. And uh, she was like, she was like, yo, let's, she lived around the corner from me at the time. She was, so she was like, let's stay home from school. Let's just chill at your place. Your mom, you know, I know your mom's at work. So I said, bet, I'll meet you halfway. We're going to walk. So I, <laughs> so I met her halfway. We, we kind of went to the house, and, you know, we just, yeah, it just happened. And then now, when was the first time you masturbated? You may have been a guy that masturbated after sex. And not. No, yeah, no, I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, so the first yeah. time, we, when I lost my virginity... When I lost my virginity, I didn't like finish. So we had walked. It's nerve wracking. It's nerve wracking. No, it's scary. Yeah. So I'm just in there. I'm trying to like show out. Were I'm you like? Were you I'm wearing? Like, pre- were you wearing protection the first time, Keith? I did wear protection. That's why I couldn't finish. It, it suffocates you. No, I'm lying. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I lied. I lied. I lied. I lied. I didn't. So what happened was, I think before I got nervous that I was gonna like get to the finish line too quick, so I t- did some prerequisites. And I think that's why <laughs> I didn't get to get to where I needed to be. So I mean, you know, it was it was kind of a good experience, a little little nerve wracking. But I, I was young. I was a young, and I was fourteen. So and wait, yeah. Keith, yeah. quick question. You said yeah. that you're not a fan of sex in bathrooms. No, I've done I've done it. No, I've done oh, it. Oh, okay. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's 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 it can happen, but it's like it depends on the bathroom, right? I don't want the floor to be wet. I can't slip. I'm locked in. Like, sometimes the floor is wet and it gets humid. I might slip and do something, slip out. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I, if it's a nice bathroom, yeah, let's do it. For sure. We'll turn the water on so nobody can hear. We'd be, we be good. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah no. we'll and, be all right. And, Cabby, for sex in the bathroom, uh, are you more in front of the sink or on the sink for that kind of thing? Mm, depends on, like, the structure of the bathroom. Like, <laughs> How do you I'll fuck do on a quick, sink? Like, no, it definitely depends on the structure, no doubt. Yeah, no, you have to evaluate it before you get no in doubt there. About it. Yeah, I was just asking because uh, I lost my virginity in a um, in a bathroom of a Best Western. Best Western? What is Best Western? I hope your wait. I hope your virginity was consensual. Yes, a, yes, yes, a, yes, yes, yes. Is yes, that yes, like yes. a multi? At a Best Western. All right, this one. This one's more of an action. Foot massage for five seconds. Keith, I guess you have to give Gabby a foot massage for... No, I'm wearing really ugly socks. Like, they're not cute. All right, Keith, we give me your feet. Go to the I, next I'm part, not, Harrison. No, we're not going to do that because I, I got big feet, so peep this. Big I feet. What size, wait, what size are your shoes? I wear a size 12 and a half. That's not that, that's not that big. Whoa. <laughs> I, th- I thought he was gonna say I can't I can't see I can't see your socks. I thought he was gonna say like sixteen. I was gonna be like, wow. Uh, shout- I- Harrison, what's the other one? Shout out to the guys with an eight and a half out there. <laughs> Describe your perfect night in with your partner. Oh. That's a deep romantic question. That maybe something happens after that, and we'll we'll keep this moving. Wait, Harrison, I'll answer it for Keith. We're in. We're just like talking. <laughs> Perfect night in is like, I got a text from the guys like, yo, come out, 
But you know, maybe you texted me and said, yo, I want to see you. It's been a while. Wait, this is with your partner, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, 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 I'm just trying to paint a picture for you. I'm trying to paint a picture for you. So just tell us what it is. Right, I'll tell you quick. Boom. So like just a, a perfect night in. We get some good food. Maybe order a pizza. I could cook a little bit, but maybe we could order, you know, a good pizza. Order that in. We could do some wine, um, you know, and watch a good movie and sit down and just talk and enjoy and just vibe. And, 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 and hold All right, on, Gabby, hold we're going to get on to you. Okay. Um, two words, naked cooking. That's Na- it. Okay. I like that. All right. So naked cook. So Harrison. Uh, I think we're at that moment, Brandon. This I, is it. This I is it. At, oh, I, my God. I think, oh. I think we're at that moment. So everyone... The blindfolds are gonna come off with these two, so H- hug or kiss before they come off. Yeah, do you, do you are you feeling right before you wanna? Hug? Yeah. Yeah, this crowd is horny. Yeah. That was the coolest thing I've ever. I like that. Do you want? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> so Should they hold hands while the blindfolds come on? Yeah. Blindfolds off, everyone. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Microphones up. Microphones up there. I love this, this, this dress you have on. It's very beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, you, look, you look very Sorry. comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, the reaction was because he's really cute. Thank you. I appreciate it. I so. appreciate it. Are you, like, he's, like, he's very attractive. Because <laughs> yeah. I felt the same before. <laughs> <laughs> I, Finally, we're on the same page. Yeah, we're on yeah, the same. Yeah. Is this we're what you were hands. expecting, Gabby? You shocked, or am I everything that you... Hoped and imagined, or? I don't. I mean, I expected earrings, but that's the only thing that I'm thrown off. About. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What did you feel something? You felt my ear or something? I thought I did. Oh, I'm not gonna did? lie. I thought yeah, I did. No. Yeah. I love it. Keith is like, yeah, yeah. I like me too. <laughs> I mean, do you like what you see, or? Oh no, yeah. You look great. Yeah, you look great. <laughs> you look great. Listen. Uh, another thing is, I pay attention. I, I pay attention to detail. Your nails match your dress, that's awesome. And you look, you look good. She has nice eyes, like nice big eyes that I like, for sure. There's a lot behind those eyes, too. Yeah. So I like that, for <laughs> sure. <So>, hopefully. hopefully. <laughs> wow. All right, we're gonna hear from each of you separately about what you're actually thinking about each other. Then you're gonna find out together. So clap if you want to hear from Keith first. <laughs> okay. Um, so, so not one person wants to hear from the, uh Clap if you want to hear from Gabby first. All right. So Keith, you're gonna you're gonna step right that way. Two, this will be very quick too. All right. So Gabby, are you more interested in the guy Chris you met on this show, or Keith? Be honest right now. This show is all about honesty. There is no right or wrong answer. I mean, Keith is really, really hot. <gasps> but I, I don't know. Like, when the blindfolds were on, I just don't think I vibed as much with his personality, even though it's really great. But looks you like more. Pardon? But you like his looks more. I mean, looks are subjective. Like, I wouldn't say that I like someone's looks more, because at the end of the day, that doesn't really matter to me. Would you go on another date with Keith? I mean, yeah, to get to know him. Like, I think three dates with him would be enough to get to know him, but... And so the answer, so if you had to pick right now between him and Chris, who would you go with? Chris, because I know... Aww. Wait, so is it a yes or a no to a second date? I mean, a yes to just, like, get to know him, but after the second date, they're might not be another one. So just gonna, depending, just depending. I'm so not, you're I'm probably not. gonna just stick with Chris. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. Well, we'll for now. Well, we'll see. So, Gabby, you're gonna guys you're gonna... clap it up for Gabby's honesty. Take a Put step right that way. Guys, welcome back, Keith. Woo! With arms wide open. Keith, oh, what's up, brother? Keith, man. Um, so we're just gonna get really transparent right now. Keith, is it a yes or a no with Gabby? I say yes. Oh. Sure, sure. What? What? Like you're actually very into her? Yeah, I think she has a nice smile. I like that, for sure. That's big for me. I love. I love a good smile. If there was one thing that would give you hesitation about her, what would that be? Yeah. You have to pick one thing. Sex in the bathroom a little crazy. But <laughs> I'm just, so just surprised. A, just a little bit, just a little bit. Like, I was like a little bit like, I like it. I mean, it's, it, it depends on what type of route I'm going for. If I'm going for somebody that I'm gonna like kind of <sighs> court, I'm, like it might yeah. be, I mean, I guess the shows are fun side, but I guess that's the only real thing, I guess. I like this it. one I, of the, the better kisses you've had, Keith? Yeah, no, definitely, for sure. I was just, I was into it, I just kept going. Okay. I like that, all right. All right, so let's bring hey, out bring Gabby her out, and uh, clap it up for Keith. All right. And look out into that crowd. If there's one thing you have to say to them right now, what is it? I don't know. Let's go dancing. Let's, let's go dancing. I'm excited. This is not, the, night's, the night's very young. I met, I met I like her. That. She's beautiful. All right. Let's go dancing. Let's have fun. All right. All right. So we got them. Deliver the news, Brandon. Yeah. So uh, we're going to cut right to the chase. Um, so um, you both did say yes. Yeah. And uh, and Keith, Gabby has been on updating before. Okay. Uh, he's like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> uh, you know, she she you know, has gone on a uh, couple dates with one guy. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what your your future holds. Yeah. So I'm let's excited. run it. Yeah. Let's Wait, run where it. are you taking me on a date? Oh wow. I got a couple of places in mind, but wow. Let's was... let's leave it. Let's leave it. Let's have some suspense. Okay, sure. Yeah, cool. A little bit of mystery, yeah. Cool. I got a couple <laughs> spots I like, though. For Harrison, what's going to happen now? So, Gabby, we actually have another guy for you. So, Keith, you're okay with Gabby going on another date in front of you? Yeah, do your thing. Oh, shit. Sure. Sure. Okay. All right, so All Keith. All right, so Keith. Uh, take a hike. Right, should we put Keith out there? Yeah, put him back yeah, there. Keith, sit out here. Yeah. Guys, give it up for Brandon. Yeah. So guys, this is hotter, Brandon. <laughs> guys, show some love to Brandon. By the way, Harrison, I like that you just threw him into the crowd. So Brandon, um, what do you want to tell the crowd about you? Um, we just don't do, you know, we don't do profession or age or any of that. What do you want them to know right now? I'm just a fun guy who likes to have fun. Uh... That's, that's the sales pitch. That's the whole, that's the whole sales pitch. Brandon, what are some of your passions or interests outside of uh, your occupation, which might be finance? I don't know. You use car salesman is another popular one I get, so. Um, what do you like to do? I'm a photographer, like outside and my, out of sight of my day to day. Oh, um, really? Yeah. What do you ever, like, what do you take photos of? Landscapes, people, I've done events, uh, weddings. Have you ever done any nude photos? Oh, man. Uh, I've definitely done some photo shoots for models and like it's gone the other way where they try to hook up with you So that's always fun <laughs> well, Are these models prostitutes? <laughs> what models are like I'm gonna fuck the photographer I, I picked them up on uh, you know down on the Lower East Side, you know by Avenue A I like that. All right, so do we do we have any police here? No <laughs> Gabby, uh, you seem to be smiling. Are you liking what you're hearing so far? I mean, yeah, I took a art of photography history class in college, so I guess we have something to talk about, <laughs> which could be interesting. That's the only thing we're gonna talk about the whole night. Yeah, that's it, sorry, wow. nothing else. So, Br <laughs> so Brandon, you had the crowd, uh, and, uh, and yeah, and then you, you, you told them about your photography, and now we're all uncomfortable. Uh, <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be handing out, you know, business cards after this, so. I love it. I need new headshots, so maybe I'll try to seduce you when you take those photos. There you go. I love that. I like Brandon so far. So, Gabby, uh, you've met one guy tonight. You've met a pre another guy previously. Like, what's something that is missing from those two guys you could find out about Brandon? 
As dumb as it sounds, like, what makes you get out of bed in the morning? Like, what you like to do for fun? All of the stupid, boring questions, but they're very, uh, very important. Oh, uh, ph- photography. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brandon number two, shush. <laughs> I'm talking to Brandon number one now. <laughs> what gets me out of bed is, like, honestly, I love helping people, so whenever I get an opportunity to, I'll do that. I do that through um, church and whatever other way I can, you know? Oh, you like, you go to church? I do. Oh. No, there's, I love that. No, there's nothing wrong with that. People just looked at me. Thumbs up or thumbs down on that, guys? What are you doing here? So, so, Gabby, do you go to church? Not as much as I should. Oh, wow. No. Keith, do you go to church? I do. How often? Every other Sunday. Really? See, Maybe you and Brandon should fuck. <laughs> By the way, Keith's a good looking guy. Wait, Keith, say that again. Keith's a good looking guy, man. Keith, Keith, come over. Again, there's no rules on this show. Wood and. uh, Finally, yes. So, Keith, don't speak. Only Brandon's gonna speak. Brandon, would you wanna give Keith a kiss? Would you? Hell to the no. Hell Tonight's no. gonna be a no? I love you, bro, but not like that. Really? You're not gonna, I, that would be like really cool if you let that happen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, we vibed in the back. We was vibing. Just not on that level. I'm just, it he's, sounds he's, a like, good, he's a good looking dude though, for sure. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like they both finished in the back. <laughs> I no, guess they're just friends. Get back to your seat. <laughs> Damn it, man. That would have been cool if like that fucking it, went. And Brandon, just uh, as you open up about this faith thing, which is cool. That you is know, cool. How has that affected your view on sex? Are you waiting until marriage? Oh. Is that the kind of thing you wait for? That's a good, yeah. I believe in, I believe in that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a good thing. I like that. How do you feel about that, Keith? I mean, sorry, Brandon. <laughs> I'm on your mind. You guys love Keith. Y'all love Keith. Sorry, I'm sorry. Your... I'm still dizzy from uh, the excitement I almost had. And <laughs> of all the kissing that would have happened between us. That would have been yeah, fire. That would be great. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't worry. We'll all have a drink later. <laughs> so, hey. so, Brandon, how do you believe... Because obviously you're, Harrison brought up a good point. Your faith is very important to you. So do you, are you going to wait for marriage? I mean, man, and I'm, I'm a faithful guy, but I've been in these streets for too long. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, clap it up for that. That's a cool... Gabby, do you have any questions for, for Brandon Brand- about the, the faith thing? For Brandon? I mean, I think right now, my main thing is just like a communication issue. Oh. Oh. Wait, so did you say you're a virgin, or...? No. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. No, okay. no. I'm sorry, no. I heard That's that, I heard that, okay. No, no, he's not a virgin, Gabby. He's, uh, he's ta- you know, he's, he's, he's coerced the people he's taking photos at the sex. <laughs> he must not be a virgin. Right, right, he's right, he's fucking models. Okay, gotcha. So we're From- gonna cut right to it. So your blindfolds are gonna come off. Everyone, five, four, three, two, one. Gee, Jesus. Oh, wow, this crowd is huge. Wow. All right, so take a look. Hi. What's up? How nice to doing? meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Brandon, right? Yeah. Okay. Faithful guy, not a virgin, gotcha. Not a virgin, fortunately. All right, G- Gabby, are you more interested in kissing him now or before you saw him? Or are you just not interested? Or no kiss? Oh, no, no, no. Incredibly interested. Okay. I'm sorry, do you see this? <laughs> he, I'm not, can I tell you something, Gabby? I felt, when I saw him, look, you, you too, Keith. Uh, Bra- Brandon They're looks both like. beautiful. He, I think he loves Jesus because he looks like him. <laughs> I, I mean, think, I don't mind a little bit of hair that I can, like, grab onto, you know? Grab it. How about you pull, do you want to grab his hair? <laughs> you can touch my hair, yeah. It's oh nice my. and soft, yeah. Yeah, yeah Brandon. No, that's, that's really nice. What kind of conditioner do you use? Uh, I think it's Pantene. It's very mids. It's very midsy. So, Gabby, 
You met Chris on the show in a previous week. You met Keith. And obviously, you met Brandon for a moment. But the funny thing about, you know, dating and love and photography, I mean, um, <laughs> you kind of know... Don't forget some, Jesus. Yeah, and, right. and religion. Um, so sometimes you kind of know right away. So if you had to pick between the three guys, Chris, Brandon, Keith, pick right now. You have to pick one. Gabby, what is your Brandon. decision? <gasps> What? Whoa. What? I mean, if, if he's down to get to know me more. He said eight words. <laughs> that, uh, this is what happens. This is what Sorry. happens when you're a hot guy. Gabby, thank you for your honesty. Why was this your decision? I mean, I'm sorry. Like, are you looking at this man? Like, He's so hot. He, he's very beautiful. <laughs> Brandon? Are you interested in Gabby? Yes or no? Honest answer. Three, two, one. Absolutely. Oh. Wow. So you really like her? I, I would like to get her know, get to know her better. Yeah. No, 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 no. You just got to know her. I got five seconds. It's out. a show. What's your What's your favorite thing about her? Be specific. Be sp I guarantee you, if I was out here for as long as Keith. This crowd would be cheering for me right now. Oh, 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 oh. Yo, Keith. I like... Wait, Keith... Oh. What does Keith have to say about that? Hey, man, again, I think I met Brandon in the back. He's a super cool guy. Very good-looking dude, so... Hey. No, I have never... Keith. All right. So, Keith, you're going to get your happy ending because there has been this girl the entire show. Her name is Jess. She you wants guys one, are going to... She wants one minute with you. So, Keith, Jess, you you'll get one minute. Uh, oh, wow. Her name's Jess. Jess? Wow. <laughs> You seemed like you had a very chill vibe. I'm into music. I'm into all types of music. I, the fact that you play guitar is very fucking hot. And are you okay with the naked guitar thing? Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be opposed wow. to naked guitar. Are, are you, do you drink soda? No, I don't drink soda at all. You don't drink soda? I drink tequila sodas, but... So, Keith, what do you want to know? I need to know what kind of season is you got in your cupboard. If I open the cabinet and I want to season the chicken up to get it right for us for dinner, is it gonna be basil and thyme in there? Has you got a little sasson? Like, what's in the, what's in the cupboard? What's in okay. the cupboard? I just need to know. Sadly, I'm I'm not into spicy food. That's the one thing I can't handle. I'm Caribbean, so I like spicy food. I'm more like a garlic, basil, pepper kind of girl. Garlic salt. I'm pretty basic. You garlic salt. I eat almost everything besides spicy food. Of I'm Caribbean, so I like spicy food. So I got all types of jokes type of season. Wow, so Keith, what's going on, man? What are you thinking? Yeah, I, I, I think it takes a lot to come up here. I, I, I like eye contact, though. I like to like look at you when you're talking. I, feel, I know, like, you might... No, so... Can I be honest? Yeah. I didn't message you to come up here. My friends took my phone. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. You didn't even let me... Because I saw when you walked out, I was like, oh, fuck. And no, now... I'm not a public speaker. No, no, no. no, no it's a, by the way, guys, I'm very... Going Normally, it's like, a hard, it's, I don't think, it's very hard to come up here. Uh, you really like him, be honest. You're, you're really pushing that, huh? Yeah, you like? <laughs> yeah, Listen. I mean, he's fucking, look at it. He's a fucking, well, guess what? He'll be naked in my apartment later. Uh, all right, Keith. Yeah. What is your decision? I'm gonna have to say no, because she kind of made it seem like she didn't want to like really come up here and you feel me kind of do No, I think thing, she, so, so Keith, she did, she, Shut everybody. So, so she did want to come up. She was afraid to come up. So all her oh. friends DM. I'm not one to like DM and do it myself. Yeah. Okay, no, that's they, they saw when you walked out, they were like, you're going up there. And I was yeah. like, I, she gave me my phone back and said, you could say no. And I said, no, it's okay. Keith. <laughs> so that's Keith. different. So is it a yes or a no? 
Uh, he already said no. No, no, but listen. Yeah, yeah, yes or no? I think it's elaborate. But that's, it's Let's a give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. I'm down. Let's so you'll go on a date with her? Sure, no, definitely. Thank you, Harrison. Wow. This is, uh, this is, uh, we've had some twists. We've had, we've some, had twists some twists here. So, we have one actual final twist because the show has two minutes left. And you know what that means, Harrison. Take it away. It means that we are opening this to the crowd for one final person. If you want to shoot your shot, so you know, you right there. Wow. So, who are you into on this stage? Definitely Keith. I mean, come on. Oh. Keith. I mean, look, Keith. Every it's your lucky night. <laughs> it's your lucky night to take. Everyone wants you, so I yeah. get it. Why would Keith decide to fall in love with you, marry yeah. you? So I have Sasson Goya in my fridge. You said you're Caribbean. I'm Cuban. So oh. I love dancing. You said you love dancing. Listen, I also listen to music, which is. Kind of you, like, you like Brent Fire? Of course. You like Brent? Yeah. Oh, okay, you like Brent? That's a green flag. Listen, I, don't I, I like Brent. Um, Spotify, Apple B Music. Who's Brent? Fires? Brent Fires. <laughs> Keep, keep going there. Um, I'm very passionate and empathetic and very kind and <laughs> and yeah. um, I'll be so nice to you and I'll, and I'll cook you dinner if you want to and I'll go dancing. I, I gotta like to be sunset. honest. I like those are both great pitches. Keith, what is your final decision in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. This was a uh, bizarre show tonight. Gabby, Gabby, Gabby. I mean, I guess that's the end of the story there. Like, was he that hot? <laughs> like, that's all I have to say. Like, she acted as if she pulled the blindfold off and it was George Clooney. Amazing episode of Updane tonight. We wanted to tell a relatable story. What happens when Gabby is in a situationship with Chris, who is a fan favorite. We gave Gabby two other options, Keith, Stud. I think Keith will definitely meet someone from the audience tonight somewhere else. The crowd loved him. Thank you all so much for subscribing. We really, really love you guys and the community and what's happening here. We're so excited to bring you more episodes. Please share, subscribe, and keep spreading the word about updating. Tickets are available at updatingshow.com. We're going to a lot of cities this fall, a lot more cities in 2024. We want to come to your town. Let us know where to go on our website. DM us. You could call us personally. We'll answer the phone. Thank you, Updating.